this dial indicator and at the moment I've got to mess around setting all this up on the lathe, bend it to the right angles and stuff. So I thought if I could 3D print a tool holder, because this is a quick change tool post on the lathe, if I could 3D print a tool holder and put the actual dial indicator in there, I could just swap it in and out really quickly. So I'll take it over to the lathe and I'll show you how it all works and hopefully we can 3D print one. This is what they call the quick change tool post and this is actually the tool holder that goes in it. This puts all your lathe tools in it. Uh, what you do, you chuck it in, lock it down, make your machine away and when you want to change it, change the tool, pop it out and you'll have another tool holder with a different tool in it. You can just chuck it straight in, lock it in and away you go. So what I'd like to do is 3D print one of these and hopefully be able to put this dial indicator onto it so I can slip in and out just as quick. I'll probably have to do one on this side as one as well on the other side as well. So it'll be reversed so I can do a face one as well as that outside diameter one. Um, the only issue I can see with it is it might move slightly because it's plastic it needs to be rigid for this to work correctly. But a bit of trial and error and we'll see how we go. Okay, I've actually found a uh, one on Thingiverse and I'll rotate that 90 degrees first. Uh, and that's actually where the dial indicator will fit in and it will bolt in through this bottom part down here. You can see the hole through it. And for the next one to print the opposite direction I'll just mirror the image but I'll print this one out first and we'll see how it works. So we'll send that to the printer. Alright, I've finished the um, 3D printing job for the dial indicator holder. That's what it looks like. Now all I had to do to fix it, to make it fit, was file out the um, dovetail a little bit because it was a bit tight. Um, it's got a countersunk 6mm bolt through it. It's about 55mm long I think it is. And that's how it fits. I made it out of PLA so it's a bit flexible. And I can use the cross slide now. So I made two of them up. 
second one's actually a mirror image of the first one, so I can put it on the other side. That works here like that. So I can do a face. So they turned out really good. I expect them to bend and twist a bit, but they seem to be pretty solid. So this job looks like it's worked alright. On to the next.